Hello folks. So I want to show you my first galaxy capture of the year. But first I want to thank everybody for the well wishes. If you caught the, the end of my previous video, that live stream, you know we had a bit of a, a family crisis. My dad decided he wanted to get out of bed and wander. And he's a fall risk. He's going to be 89 this year. And he doesn't know he's a fall risk because every time he falls, he doesn't remember it by morning because his short-term memory is not what it used to be. And so during the live stream, I had to take off. And the funny thing is we have a small house, but we couldn't find him. He wasn't in bed. He wasn't on the floor. And we found him sitting on the couch in the dark. So uh, crisis averted. He didn't fall down. I led him back to bed. And even though I bought these bed rails off of Amazon to make sure he can't get out of bed, he's, he's, he's still pretty strong and he keeps kicking them off, which is kind of funny, but we wish he wouldn't do that. But um, everything is going to be fine. But uh, and uh, one of the things I, I do prepare for in the live stream, because this happens so frequently as I was prepared, I point the camera somewhere else. I unplug the microphone and then I... I leave. I was prepared for that situation because I don't want a crisis to be caught during a live stream. But thanks everybody for expressing your concern. I got a lot of uh, comments and private messages, but everything is fine. So let's get on. Let's get on with this. So if you caught the live stream that I did last time, you'll know I was doing some live stacking and sharp cap. And one of the objects I was doing was Mercurian's chain. It looked pretty cool. And after the stream was over, I went back into Sequence Generator Pro and I ended up capturing about three and a half hours worth of data. And I wanted to show you what it looked like. And I captured it with my Celestron Rasa telescope and I was doing 30 second exposures. So let me show you um, what I've captured. So here is my picture of Mercurian's chain, and I love this. This is the first time I ever captured a cluster of galaxies, and I love how it looks like a, a ladder just going upward. I think that is super cool. And my goal this year is going to be quantity over quality. I am not going to worry about the color of every single pixel in my images, uh, especially in broadband and my light pollution, I, I'm just not going to worry about it. I just want to capture um, pictures quickly, maybe like this one. I only did three and a half hours and I think I got a great result and I'm just going to go with minimal processing. I think this looks natural enough. I mean, I've seen an astro bin where people paint each galaxy with, I say paint because um, astrophotography has really gone to a an artistic level, an extreme artistic level. And I'm not going to worry about painting every galaxy, which I could have. It looks natural enough to me. And uh, let me show you, uh, this is this is really almost what the original picture looked like for me. All I did here was a dynamic background extraction and a histogram. And all I did really, I brightened up the galaxies, darkened the background a bit. And I think it looks natural enough. I, I'm not going to worry too much about processing. I, I love the result. And um, and I used a one-shot color camera on the Celestron Rasa, and I have another one-shot color camera on the way for the Explorer Scientific. So both of them will be pointing at galaxies all season. And I'm going to capture as many as I can. And I, I hope they're, they come out like this, um, bright and easy to process. And uh, we'll see how it goes. That's all I have, folks. Thanks for watching.